Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session now we are going to discuss about the second weak slot filler structure that is called as the frames. In the previous session of this uh, particular session we have already gone through the semantic nets. So what is the meaning of the semantic nets? How they will work? how they can be represented in the knowledge representation of the artificial intelligence and now we are going to see the second weak slot filler structure actually the first weak slot filler structure is uh, itself is uh, nothing but uh, um, semantic nets and the second one is here it is uh, we call it as uh, frames okay so this is the uh, frames now we are going to see so first of all we see what is the purpose of the this particular frames this sorry what is the purpose of this particular frames how we are going to use this okay so there are some certain problems are there while working with the semantic nets okay so these problems are nothing but whenever a problem is going to be described more structured okay so it is completely described as the more structured system the entirely structured system that's not possible with the uh, semantic nets but whenever you represent any kind of the system in the more structured form or more precise and structured form directly you go for the frames okay so these frames also one of the they contain one of the uh, semantic nets as one of the subset of it so whatever features are there in the semantic nets all these features are uh, satisfied in these frames okay so we can say a frame is nothing but a collection of attributes and associated values uh, the, the definition is nearly same for uh, semantic nets and as well as the frames and one more thing we need to remember a frame that describes some entity the structure that can be described in the form of the entity okay so that is the main thing of the frame here and it also represents the entity from a particular point of view only not only the entity description it also describes that particular entity in some point of view also that means in a more precise structured form can be represented in, in frames so that kind of the more structured form is only possible with the frames which is not possible with the semantic nets so whatever problems that we came across uh, to describe such kind of the more structured forms is not possible with the semantic nets we can do here we can work with the frames we can do such kind of the things here so let us see how they will work now okay so this is the frame actually and this is uh, as we discussed earlier this is also we can say it is one of the uh, sorry it is one of the weak slot filler structure there are two kinds of the weak slot filler structures now as early uh, as uh, up to now we have discussed one is the semantic nets and another one is the frames and what is the frame the definition of the frame already we have seen this that is the collection of the attributes as slots and associated values are called as the fillers this thing already you know so let us see this very good example for this particular uh, frames this can be represented in the form of the semantic net form actually it is in a more structured form so how can we represent it in the form of a more structured form in the form of a frame we see after this frame after this slide so first of all we see what are the various things are there first we see room there is an instance uh, the, the, sorry there is an easy relationship hotel room is a room and hotel room contains hotel bed and hotel chair and hotel chair uh, this location is nothing but hotel room and now there is an instance called room number two and hotel chair here chair is a chair hotel chair is a chair and it used for sitting and chair has four legs and it height has 20 to 40 centimeters these are the associated attributes of the chair okay so the first one is the legs uh, and the second one is the height these are the attributes of the chair okay so like this this particular structure is representing which can have the attributes like uh, legs and height and uh, there's fillers having 4 and 20 to 40 centimeters and uh, it also can be represented with the help of instance and as well as easy relationship also okay this is the structural form actually okay so how it can be represented in the form of frame that means in a more precise structured form how it is now we are going to see see let us see in this example here hotel room is a room sorry hotel room is a room it contains hotel bed and it contains hotel chair this is one structure frame structure of what of hotel room of the previous 
example this one is okay and now see hotel room contains uh, hotel bed and hotel chair and it is also a room now let us see coming to the second one that is a hotel chair so what are the properties of the hotel chair hotel chair is a chair and it uses sitting on and its location is hotel room so the frame structure of the hotel chair can be represented like this and remaining all our frame structure of the remaining attributes so the total is the frame system of the hotel room so like this the entire structure can be represented in the form of the frame that contains instance and these are relationships also and as well as other kind of the relationships also the entire frame structure can be represented for this given structure okay so this is the very good example of the frame let us see some more examples of the frames before going to that what are the other things relevant to the frames now we see okay so frame systems uh, normally we can say a frame systems is defined as the collection of the frames which are connected to each other so what is a frame system actually a frame system is nothing but a collection of the frames and it is uh, the set theory is very good understanding of the frame systems okay so this is one of the thing we need to remember and this thing already you know each frame represents either a class or instance and instance and these relationships are also having represented they can have the inverse attributes which we can subclasses and instances in the frames and uh, other kind of the attributes are own attributes and as well as the inherited attributes own attributes means the attributes with that particular uh, frame itself and inherited attributes means uh, they can be inherited from the particular class from where they are inherited by so like this uh, the frames and sets and instances can be represented and now other thing we see the frame um, we is normally use it to all the slot filler structures as we discussed priorly all the slot filler structures are used to represent uh, Mm, use it to store the knowledge okay so via slots and as well as the filler structures whereas slots are nothing but the attributes and as well as the fillers are nothing but the associated values for those attributes okay so this data can be stored in the form of these slots and as well as the fillers okay as we seen uh, like in the dbms how the data stored in the form of the database in the frames also the data stored in the form of the slots and as well as the fillers okay and we can say another example slots are the entities of the particular uh, um, at fillers and as well as the attributes they together stored in a frame for example tommy is a dog have one tail so it can be represented as uh, some other so let us see some more example employee is the entity object emp name is the object okay and now another example that we see frame name is bird and properties of the frame having the wings uh, sorry uh, properties of this particular frame having the slots these are uh, wings and files and fillers are nothing but two and true okay so this is one class frame and what is the instance of this particular frame that is frame name is tweety and it comes under the class of the bird and it can have the properties uh, like uh, slots are nothing but wings and as well as files and fillers are changing here see let us see that is one and as well as the false whereas in the for this base class it can have two and true so this is the instance of the frame this is the class frame like this we can represent and another example of the frame previously i have shown i have told that the frame can also be designed for an entity so here the entity is nothing but a person what are the properties of that particular person here we are going to describe now let us see the ram uh, person name is the ram his name is ram so he is a doctor by profession and his age is 40 his wife name is sita they have two children babu and geeta They live in 100 KP Street in the city of Delhi in India, and the zip code is 756005. So how can I this? How can how can I put such kind of the information in the form of the frames or in the form of the slots and filler structures? Let us see the frame RAM profession value value of the profession by value of the profession. Sorry, is it doctor? So that's why value profession doctor age value 40. wife value sita children value babu and geeta and address street value 100 kps and city value delhi country value india and zip value 
is 756005. Like that each and every slot is divided into some kind of the attributes and these fillers are represented in the form of the values like sorry values of that associated attributes or the respective attributes. They can be represented like this the value doctor, the value age and the value sita like this. So this is the another example of the frame. Now coming to the third example. So person is a mammal. The cardinality is this and handed is right and adult male is also a person. Cardinality is this one in height. And ML bas play, bar, baseball player is a adult cardinality height. So like this uh, we can represent it is the frame of a particular person who can have certain number of the slots and their fillers. Slots means attributes, fillers is nothing but the, indi the individual values, respective values of those slots or the attributes. So these are some examples of the slots, sorry of the frames. Okay. In this regard, we need to talk about one more thing that is called as the meta class. So, what is a meta class? The meta class is one kind of the special class whose elements are themselves are classes. Okay. So, some classes are mutually disjoint and some classes are covered by the relationship with another kind of the subclasses. ML baseball player is a fielder, pitcher, is a catcher, is an American leaguer and is a national leaguer. And the instance of this uh, pitcher and national leaguer is nothing but jock. So, this is mutually disjoint classes and they can be covered by the jock. Okay. So, like this, uh, we can represent this one also, the frames also, ML baseball player is covered by pitcher, catcher, field, fielder, American leaguer, national leaguer and pitcher is ML baseball player and mutually disjoint with uh, catcher and fielder. See, catcher and fielder, these are mutually disjoint with the pitcher and national leaguer. Okay, so is a ML baseball player mutually disjoint with pitcher and pitcher and fielder. It is also disjoint with pitcher and catcher. Fielder is also, sorry, fielder is also disjoint with the pitcher and catcher. So, like this, the meta classes can be represented and these frames, the purpose of the frames like this. Okay, so up to now we have completed the weak slot filler structures. In the coming class, we talk about the strong slot filler structures like uh, conceptual dependency, CYC and as well as the scripts. Okay, so if at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel, I request all you, you please subscribe my channel and uh, make all videos watching and shareable. Thank you one and all. Thank you so much.